This video is going to be the first in a three-part series where we're looking at how to solve exponential equations. Um, we're going to start with equations that involve uh, just two terms. So for these equations, the guideline is that uh, we put the uh, terms uh, on the two sides of the equal sign and then we simply take logarithms on both sides and then the solution is going to involve uh, some use of uh, properties of logs so in case you are not up to speed with the properties of logs uh, we have a video on that i'm going to put the link uh, just here so that you can uh, familiarize yourself with them okay so let's uh, get going then um, we've got uh, some four examples here we're going to work on the first two and then we're going to give you a chance to solve the last two so in the first one in a we have got 5 to the power x minus 2 5 to the power x minus 2 is equal to 248 so of course this has got two terms uh, one term here and one term there and they're already on the two sides of the equal sign so all we're going to do is we're simply going to take logs on both sides now when it comes to taking logs uh, we can either take uh, log uh, the common log which is log base 10 uh, or we can take lean because these two are, are available on the calculator okay so for this first example we are going to take lean on both sides so we're going to have this side lean 5 to the power x minus 2 is equal to lean 248 then there is a property of logs which says that the log of a to the power n is n times the log of a so in our case a here is x minus 2 and so we are going to use the property and bring x minus 2 down so we're going to have x minus 2 lin 5 is equal to lin of 248 since we want to make uh, x the subject of the formula here we're going to start by moving lin 5 to the right hand side so lin 5 is multiplying on the left hand side if you take it to the right hand side it's going to be dividing um, so that means now we are left with x minus 2 here then after that uh, we simply take 2 to the other side so x is going to be 2 plus lin 248 divided by lin 5 and then of course we can uh, express this in a numerical can find the numerical value of this by punching this in the calculator so it's going to be 2 plus uh, lin uh, 248 and then divided by lin 5 and uh, the answer we get is 5.425 etc corrected to decimal places this is 5.43 now um the beauty with equations is that you can always check your answer by substituting into the original equation so and uh, so we can uh, uh, use the calculator to enable us to do this exactly so with the answer still on screen we can plug it in here then if we do that uh, that left hand side must give us 248 so what we're going to do is we're going to use the answer feature on the calculator which is this key here so while the 
um, this value or this full answer or exact answer is on screen, we're going to go 5 raised to the power of, then uh, we punch answer. So when we punch answer, it's bringing back this value here that we just found, which was uh, still on screen. And then, of course, the equation is 5 to the power x minus 2. So we're going to have to say minus 2 now and then equal. And then, of course, that gives us 248. And then from there, that gives us the uh, confidence that uh, for sure our answer is correct. Okay, what I want to do now is I'm going to show you how to do that same thing uh, on uh, the um, sharp calculator EL531, which is one of the most uh, common calculators around. So I'll just show you how to do that uh, same manipulation. All right, so what we have right now is I've just punched uh, 2 plus lin 248 divided by lin 5. Uh, on the calculator and then if I say equal so that is the answer that we had before so now we want to punch it uh, 5 uh, or rather substitute it in the equation uh, 5 raised to the power of then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say open brackets now the answer key is here and you can see it's green if it's green it means it belongs in the alpha bank so I'm gonna go alpha then I'm gonna press the equal sign here and then you can see it says answer on the screen so of course 5 to the power x minus 2 so I'm gonna go minus 2 then close brackets and then I'm gonna go equal and you can see again it gives us exactly the same which is 248 so that's how you do that on the shop calculator okay so that brings us to the uh, conclusion of the first example uh, in the second example we've got four times three to the power uh, one minus two x so four times three to the power one minus 2x, this is equal to 1 over 7. Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to note here is that uh, these two, we cannot multiply because they have got different bases. So this is 4 to the power 1. Uh, this is 3 to the power 1 minus 2x. So since the bases are, 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 are not the same, we cannot multiply. So so that thing is not going to give us 12 to the power 1 minus 2x. So that would be wrong. So the 4 is just one term that's going to go on its own. But in terms of number of terms, we have got, uh, this is just one term. And that's just another term. This time we're going to take logs on both sides. Um, common log. So it's going to be log of 4 times 3 to the power 1 minus 2x is equal to log of 1 over 7. Then on the left hand side, uh, we're going to use the property of logs uh, that says log of xy is equal to log of x plus log of y. So this two we can write as log of 4 plus log of uh, 3 to the power 1 minus 2x is equal to log of 1 over 7. Then again here we can use the property of uh, the log of a power. So that 1 minus 2x we're going to bring down. And then after that, we just need to make x the subject of a formula. So um, there is x there. So we just need to take everything else to the uh, right-hand side in an order, uh, which is uh, reversed to board mass. So we are going to start 
with this term here. Since this term is uh, positive or plus on this side, if we take it this side, it's going to be negative. Um, then after that, we can uh, take this term to the right hand side. So we're going to have log of 1 over 7 minus log of 4, all divided by log of 3. So this is going to be 1 minus 2x. Then what I want to do uh, is I'm going to take the 2x to the right hand side so it becomes positive and i'm going to bring this whole term to this side so i'm going to have one minus uh, this term here all over log three and so x is just going to be uh, this term divided by 2 or 1 half of the term so 1 minus uh, log of 1 over 7 minus log 4 all divided by log 3 so that's going to be our value of x uh, which uh, let's see what it's going to be uh, the numerical value of it. Alright, so in punching it in the calculator, we're going to start by uh, doing this part which is in the brackets. So we're going to have 1, uh, 1 minus, um, let's go open brackets, uh, log 1 over 7 minus. Uh, log 4 and then this is divided by log 3 Not divided by log 3 okay then this whole thing is multiplied by 1 half or divided by 2 so divided by 2 so that is going to be our solution correct to two decimal places it's 2.02 now um, we're going to plug this into this original equation and uh, see if it gives us uh, 1 over 7. So 4 times 3 to the power of 1 minus 2 times times answer. That's that now. It's so not the same as 1 over 7, so let's punch 1 divided by 7. And you can see that uh, that is exactly the same. So our answer is definitely correct. Okay, at this point we're going to give you a uh, chance to have a go at these two. So what you can do is just pause the video and then work through them. And then uh, when you uh, press... Uh, when you continue the video, then you can compare with our solution. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for example C and D. We'd like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this uh, video. We do hope that our videos are helpful to you. We do implore you to subscribe to our channel and support the work that we do. If you've got any questions and or comments, uh, you are kindly would would like to hear from you can post them in the comment section below All right for C. Uh, we're going to take uh, lean on both sides Then by the uh, properties of powers logs of powers the 2 minus X uh, becomes a Coefficient and then if we take this to the other side Then uh, X is going to be 2 minus that punch that in the calculator that gives us negative 4.11 here we can start by taking 9 to this side of which uh, then the right hand side becomes 7047 take logs on both sides common log then uh, the log 2 we can bring this side 
uh, bring the minus 1 over and then divide by 3 and uh, that's going to give us uh, x is 3.9 if they correct to to decimal places all right thank you